transition, that is dead naming. What's wrong with that? I think it's very wrong because I have a lot of trans friends, and if they were dead named, it would be, I mean, shattering to them because it's something that is so personal to them. What? Shattering? Yes. Yes. It's, I mean, it's who they are now. I, people don't transition just for the hell of it, you know? Um, it's a very personal thing to them. They don't do it to appeal to the other gender or whatnot. Yeah, so, but let's think about it. Isn't it part of their biography? Can you really erase history and act as if that wasn't your name for a while? For example, it was, at, it was another name than Rachel Levine. Well, why do names matter so much? I mean, it's what you want to be called. It's just a title for you. But it's part of your biography, right? It's a fact that a man who now thinks he's a woman had a family, got married, and then magically decided to no longer be a man. I was talking facts, so your problem well, would be with telling of a biography? Well, I mean, it's... It Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today I'm reacting to Charlie Cake Ridica Pro Trans Student. So guys, please stay tuned and enjoy this wonderful video with me. Hello. Uh, I had a statement to say you were banned on Twitter or whatever because you dead named somebody. I just wanted to say that two wrongs does not make a right. It's not right that you were deplatformed. I don't think anybody should be deplatformed for saying anything. I fully believe in freedom of speech. But I mean, I, I wasn't so happy with you. You seem kind of proud about not proud, but it just wasn't seemed wrong to you that you were dead naming somebody. I, I get it. You know, if it was a mistake, that's fine. No, it wasn't. But it wasn't. Okay, well, okay, then you're proud of it. That does not make it right. I think as generations go on we become more accepting to things and I think that even if you don't like somebody it's not a good idea to normalize dead naming yeah, so I can think you explain our audience what is dead naming you probably know it better than I do is when um, somebody transitions and they choose a new name conforming to their gender so if their name was Lisa before and they yeah. changed it to Jack if you called them Lisa before that or Lisa after they transitioned that is dead naming. What's wrong with that? I think it's very wrong because I have a lot of trans friends and if they were dead named, it would be, I mean, shattering to them because it's something that is so personal shattering? to them. What? Shattering? Yes. Yes. It's, I mean, it's who they are now. I, people don't transition just for the hell of it, you know? Um, it's a very personal thing to them. They don't do it to appeal to the other gender or whatnot. Yeah, so, but let's think about it. Isn't it part of their biography? Can you really erase history and act as if that wasn't your name for a while? For example, it was, at, it was another name than Rachel Levine. Well, why do names matter so much? I mean, it's what you want to be called. It's just a title for you. But it's part of your biography, right? It's a fact that a man who now thinks he's a woman had a family, got married, and then magically decided to no longer be a man. I was talking facts, so your problem well, would be with telling of a biography? Well, I mean, it's, it's not that, it's not as deep as you think it is. It's just somebody, it's them now. And you, it's just being respectful. Oh, okay, but it's being respectful by not being able to act as if they were something that they weren't. Isn't their whole identity in being no longer what they were? So it no, shouldn't shatter them, it should be identity. empower them. No. So then I, why do they call themselves trans if it's not their whole identity? Well, they don't, I... People don't go out saying, guess what, uh, I'm trans. Yeah, they, they do. They just kind of exist. Mm, that's, that's Twitter. That's Twitter. I can guarantee you. And I TikTok went, and most campuses and well, the trans groups and the no, trans flag and the trans no, parade and I, the trans have, music no, no, no. and the trans stuff. People say they're trans all the time. If, if the change is not part of their identity, then why do they call themselves trans? Well, I mean, it's just a title. Everybody, like... Our society is more, you know, we want titles for just about everything. I agree. So yeah. I don't accept the title, and I should have a right not to accept it. Well, you, everybody has a right to be respected. They haven't done any wrong no, to you. No, you don't have a right to be respected. You have a right to speak. You have to earn respect in a decent society. Okay, I'm sorry. I, 
I want to fully understand what you mean, like. Yeah, so for example, I don't respect the Unabomber. Okay. That's an extreme example. Okay. I don't respect people that perform abortions. Okay. I don't respect people that medically mutilate children. Okay. And I don't respect someone that is taking Lupron and says they're a man all of a sudden and demands I comply. That's, that's not the way the world works. Respect I'm, must be earned. I think respect is just a give, like it's, it's a base thing. It's not like I'm gonna go into this room and say, I disrespect every single one of you because you don't believe what I believe or you're not presenting how I want, you know? I mean, well, okay, so what about my respect? Why was I kicked off Twitter? You said it's wrong, but you can all of a sudden see where your viewpoint quickly becomes, and we have to shut somebody up because you deserve respect. I mean, it's, I mean, honest to God, I'm not trying to like, I'm kind of losing my thoughts a little bit, but I just want to put out there that I think it's just basic human respect. You know, it's, it's not that deep. People just, if they feel one way, and they truly believe it, it's yeah. not just, oh, shit, I feel like being a, a boy now. It's not just a on the whim decision. It's something that's held inside. Them. Right. Well, hold on a second. But, but I, I just want to, I, I think you're being sincere in yes. this regard, but why? So let's just take gender affirming care or whatever you might call it. Okay. Right. Yes. So affirming someone's mental delusion where they think they're a man or a woman. Why is that the appropriate line of treatment? For example, do we give liposuction to people that are anorexic? I think no, because we know better. We know it's going to harm them. We love yes. that person. No, so I that's mean, not medicine. That would be torture. Yeah, and not everybody who decides to transition decides to change their genitalia or go through something completely irreversible, right? That's true. Some do, though. Tens I of do, thousands. I, I, I have conflicted opinions on gender-affirming okay. surgery um, because it's irreversible, and if it's a decision made too young of an age, then yeah. it's it's... It's not right to do it on children. No, that, that, that's fair. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah. I, I really mean that. And you should be encouraged. I wish more people were sane enough to say that. Mm -hmm. But let me kind of complete the point. A biography should not be eliminated because someone demands respect. For example, I can say that Muhammad Ali used to be called Cassius Clay. It's part of his life. And then he found Islam and he decided to be called something else. And all of a sudden you get this rancor and this uproar that somehow I'm being hateful and no longer worthy of a Twitter platform because I said a fact that Levine had a name and a family and was a man and then claims he's a woman. If all of a sudden history and facts can be erased, we are dangerously approaching a 1984 dystopian world control <laughs> scenario that I don't think any of us should entertain. Final thoughts? Okay, to wrap it up, my point was basically just, I think it's better to normalize just, or not normalize, but like n not put out that it's okay to do these types of things. I think it's just, general human respect. I think we just all need to become more accepting um, and we don't really need to, you know. Got it. And so my opinion is 180. We have clarity, not agreement. I'm not going to accept, accept mental delusions with force. Wow. This video is, is very, very good. And I love the way um, Charlie explained everything to the lady being a transgender is not like even when charlie don't like trans transgender people like if you are changing your sex to a man or a woman he don't he don't he, he don't like it but to me i feel that if you are like maybe your history maybe you have been born a man and you want to be a woman i feel that is a honest like maybe your name is um your name is john and now you say they should call you Juliet. So I feel that if some people decide to call you John or decide to call you Juliet, I, me, I feel that you just have to correct them. Please, I don't want you to call me John. I want you to call me Juliet. Some, some people will always, because it's not easy for them to just change. Like, it's easy for you to just change your sex, like your sex, but it's not easy for someone to just change calling you the name they used to call you when you were little, you know, so it will take time. To me, it's process. It will take time. With time, everybody will get used to it. You understand? So I feel that history will always remain the same. In your um, birth certificate, in your um, 
college um resort everything you are your name is john day and maybe right now you're already answering julian so i feel that history will always take its course so if someone is calling you um different name for what you wanted to call you you just have to keep correcting them and also believe that with time people will change and call you the kind of name you want you understand so guys please comment below on any video you want us to react to comment below subscribe to our youtube channel like this video share this video and get fashion store fashion makes sense